The Chicago FBI office is warning families to be on alert for a new scam known as virtual kidnapping. And joining us now to tell us about it is FBI agent Siobhan Johnson. Siobhan, always good to have you with us. So virtual kidnapping, that'll capture your attention in a hurry. What is it all about? How does it work? Okay, virtual kidnapping is very complicated, but I'll break it down for you. In a regular kidnapping, you have a criminal who has hold of a hostage and is asking for a ransom. However, in a virtual kidnapping, you have a criminal who is tricking a family into thinking that they have to pay a ransom for a loved one, when in reality, the loved one has never been taken. They've been fined 100% the entire time. So how do they do that? Uh, with, with a lot of different tricks of the trade, they'll call up the family, say they've got the loved one, and then you'll hear crying and screaming in the background. Oh, goodness. That's all been recorded. They'll wait until they know that the, the victim, the loved one, is in the air on an airplane and can't answer their phone to verify that they're okay, and that's when they'll strike. They've really thought this out. How do they even know that that loved one is going to be unavailable? I mean, that's a little scary. It's very scary, but it's really simple when you think about it. We put everything online these days. Mm -hmm. So say you see a really great travel deal, you snap it up and you put it on your social media account. I'm going to Mexico next week. I leave in 10 minutes, that kind of thing. It's up there. And then all of the other details that they need to make it believable, you've put out there yourself. So you have pictures of what you look like. You've got long hair, you're short, you're tall, you're thin, you're larger. Um, things that you like, your dog's name. They can say, oh, well, you'll, he'll never see Fido again if you don't send the money. They're really, really good at what they do. And they put in the time to do the research because they know that there are potentially thousands of dollars at just right there for them to take. I'm blown away. So now we know not to post all that stuff. That's one warning. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how often Very is this actually happening? I mean, how big of an issue has this become? This is a surprisingly large issue, and it's not just in Chicago, it's nationwide. But Chicago does have a very large population of individuals who do a lot of travel to the southwestern United States and Mexico, and that's where we mostly see this occurring. So really, we, we are kind of special, sadly, in this, where we have a lot of people who are potentially going to be victimized. So We're I'll, seeing it more and more. Oh, please. Go, well, I was just going to ask you, outside of not posting, what are some oh. other tips that we can do to keep ourselves safe? And then how do you recognize that this is happening? Okay, great question. So as you said, don't post things on social media. Um, you wanna make sure that you've spoken with your family before you travel internationally to let them know about what virtual kidnappings are. Most people have never ever heard of them, but they're happening, I mean, really frequently. Um, additionally, you can have a, a safe word, a password with your family, so they know if they're ever thinking that you've been kidnapped, they can ask the kidnappers, well, what's the password? And if they can't provide that password, no kidnapping has happened. Mm. So those are things you can do. Um, the big hallmarks though, if someone is asking you uh, to wire money um, for the ransom, but they're asking you to wire small amounts of several hundred dollars each time to multiple people, that's not how real kidnappers operate. They don't want you to wire $500 at a time to 15 different people. They want $50,000 one time because the risk is in receiving that money. So that's a huge red flag right there. Additionally, they can kind of be negotiated with sometimes. So they might ask you for $50,000, but when you say you don't have it, they might say, Okay, 50000 is out. Do you have $2,000? That is a huge red flag. They're just trying to get what they can and get out of there. Yeah. Wow. Siobhan Johnson from the FBI teaching us all about virtual kidnapping. Wow. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for the information. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>